Hey, what's up? My name is Matt. I'm a full-time reseller. I do mostly clothing. I also do books, also do tchotchkes and googas and this and that, etc., cetera, et cetera. And I typically do thrift stores, but I haven't been doing that because I live in San Diego where the world is, is ending acutely. And um, I haven't really been sourcing. So I went uh, on offer up this morning. As soon as I woke up, someone had just posted a uh, big sale 20 minutes prior. So I got in my car as quickly as possible and headed out there and ended up being great. So I showed up, it was in this slightly sketchy back lot, but it was a, a married couple who have a business as haulers, movers. And they, I guess, buy up the remainders of estate sales. So they had a bunch of stuff. I was there for the clothes, but I ended up getting a bunch of uh, other stuff, specifically books. So the first thing that I saw when I walked in to this dirt lot was this thing just sitting out on the ground. It's an Audubon book of his paintings of birds. And it's all these prints. And all the books were a dollar, including this one. I knew immediately that it was worth something. Looked it up on Amazon, and the lowest comp is 500 bucks. Who knows if it's actually worth that much. I haven't looked it up on eBay, which is probably where this one's going to live, because it has a little bit of uh, cosmetic damage there. And this is hard to say goodbye to, because I'm a bird watcher, and I don't know. I really like this. But I like $500 a lot more. So this probably paid for everything. I spent a total of, I don't know, maybe around 35 bucks on everything you're going to see here. So right off the bat, first thing I picked up, paid for everything. I actually bought this on accident. This was just on my pile and I didn't look it up. It's more Audubon. And it's standalone prints. Yep. They're in here. So we'll see if they're all there. I don't know how much that one's worth. The temptation is strong to just keep this one. We'll see. We'll see how much it's worth. My guess would be maybe 20 bucks for this. One dollar. <laughs> I remember working at Barnes and Noble and seeing this and it cost, I think like a hundred bucks at the time. I don't remember how much this was worth. I think it was around that. I think on Amazon it was like a hundred bucks. I don't remember, but um, definitely worth more than a dollar. Very heavy, obviously, but we'll still ship media mail. This publisher, Tashin, or however it's pronounced, they do a lot of art prints art and nature books and they're all worth scanning they don't universally hold value but a lot of them do just insane the art of vampire hunter d this is a very popular anime from the 90s and another one that's worth i think i think this was like in the 70 dollar range vintage hardback tarantula by bob dylan Lowest comp on Amazon is 50 bucks. I don't think this might be. Nope, it's not a first edition. Here's another Tashin. This one's worth around 40, if I am remembering correctly. The Insects of Suriname. Yet another Tashin. The Book of Botanical Prints. I scanned these really quick. I was burning through them because I was eager to get to the other stuff. So I just kind of threw everything that looked good in a pile and bought all of it. And consequently, I bought this, which might have been a mistake. This is the complete garden flower book, which even damaged, I'll probably be able to flip for like 20 bucks on, on uh, eBay, maybe. Okay, so that was the big win of the day. I got some clothes here. 
that'll show you. Um, but this is not gonna equal the books, not even close. So I got this bin of clothes. Everything was a dollar. And she threw in the tub for free, which was cool. So there was a lot of new attack stuff, but it was all Walmart. I think this person whose estate they bought out was some kind of hoarder. It was all Walmart brands. This is Avia. And I didn't, I looked up Avia stuff to sell through is about 50%, but I kept finding new attack stuff that was all in the same size and same make and model. So I'm going to make bundles. This is the same thing as what you just saw in a different color. Here's one of the few unique pieces that's not a Walmart brand. This is a, a, an okay brand, life is good stuff. Pretty middling. But my clothing inventory is pretty weak right now. So I'll take what I can get. Another Avia pair of, I think 2XL or 3XL yoga pants. Got two more pairs, two or three more pairs of those. Here's a Danskin now which does have demand for it, but doesn't fetch a whole lot. But that geometric print might confer a little bit of value. This is another pair of avias, avias. This actually might be worth something. I should be better with military clothing because San Diego, you find a ton of it in the thrifts. And this looks pretty vintage to me. It's definitely authentic military. Trousers, extreme cold weather, impermeable, size medium, Kings Point Manufacturing Co. I'm guessing this is going to be worth a little bit. I think you can hear it. It's got this almost vinyl fabric, and it's really heavily padded, fleece padded inside. It's, I don't think is well, I think it's polyester. But I would get I would have to guess this is probably worth at least 30. And probably not worth quite as much. A pair of jungle camo military cargo pants, long pants. There's the tag. That is the military tag. It's very blurry. Camouflaged from my camera. Not immaculate shape, but I don't know, probably worth 20 bucks. Here's an extremely hideous Avia uh, jacket, like camo print jacket. It is new with tags. Originally sold for 25, so I don't know, maybe 15 on that. New with tags, Nicole Miller. Not a great brand in my experience, but this has an MSRP of 60 bucks. And it's, I don't know, kind of eye-catching a little bit. Let's see what happens. Good sell-through on this brand. Ron John Surf Shop. It's a men's hoodie. It's got a couple spots on it. Probably 20 bucks. Some more Avia yoga pants. And I think this is the last pair of them. It's camo, dark camo. It's a pair of the kind wrist guards, I think for rollerblading or skating. These are probably only worth like 15 bucks. And another Danskin now piece. This is a, an all over Paisley sweater, hoodie sweater, active type. Zipper front sweater, probably 12 or 15 bucks. Here's 
These might be yoga pants as well. These are newly tagged. Avias in the bag. I think these are probably the yoga pants as well. Here's a jockey bra. These are going to make for bad photos, but oh well. And last piece, probably the most, well, now probably those military pants are the most valuable, but these are potentially worth 20 to 30. And decent sell through on that brand. It looks uh, bad. It looks just like cheap, whatever, thermal, generic stuff. Okay, that's that's it. I was really dying for inventory, so that's a win. All right, thanks for watching.